you say that uh, this is a provocation by Greece, not accepting it, 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 the existence. It is denying history. Yes. Uh, it is who, who, denies, history. who denies history? Uh, do you? I mean, I'm 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 here, and I, I, I'm trying to be very frank with you and give some perspective. Uh, if we go back a thousand years ago, I'm afraid that you would be uh, that you will be in a very awkward and difficult position, and don't want to do that. So. Yeah, but we're not. So. <laughs> Let me let me speak on present and future. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If if you if you feel offended because Greece says that because we have our antiquity, we have our pride, we have our history, and we know very well our history, and our position is based on this. If you feel uh, offended by Greece's position, do you feel offended as well by the fact that another neighboring country, Bulgaria, has recognized the name? Mm -hmm. But the official position is that they recognize the name, but they don't recognize the existence of a Macedonian nationality. This is our bilateral I mean, the, problem with is this, Bulgaria. This th is does nothing, this, you does this, do does this offend you? It, it is a problem between us and Bulgaria that we will fix. We are okay. talking about Greek and Macedonian relations. So let's, let's talk here. about the future so because you, you see, I have a lot of arguments in my. Do the, does the Greek government yes. recognize the Macedonian language or not? And do you problematize? Ask the Greek government. No, do you? no. I, I don't think that. Okay, you told me that there is a consensus between uh, uh, between all parties on the I, main issue. So I don't think I don't think that any Greek government uh, will come officially or will come to recognize the existence. Of uh, a Macedonian language. So you this are is, th this is, the negotiations. This is my right? interpretation of the political situation in my country, and I believe that I know very well the political situation in my country. I, I hope so. That's why I, I called you for an interview. So uh, the the identity and the language are an issue in these negotiations. You are confirming that the identity and the language are a problem in these negotiations. Go right? back to 817 decision uh, resolution of the UN. Tell me. Two part the two parts have to negotiate on the name issue, to resolve the name issue. This is the beginning of everything. Yeah, but this resolution said. that your government tends to ignore or tries to forget, this resolution of the United Nations Security Council is the basis of everything. Go back to this decision. Go back to this resolution. Read it. How do you? With all the ways you can read it. But I think that this is very clear. So this is the base of the, the actual negotiations. This is the base of the problem. How do Go you back expect, to this resolution. How do you expect Macedonia to agree on any solution if uh, the name of the language and the identity and the nationality are denied? We have been Macedonians even when we didn't have a state. Listen, I have full respect of what you are feeling, okay? I cannot change your feelings. No, and you cannot change the name of my language. You, you, you cannot change your feelings. And the only thing that I would like to stress, looking you at eye to eye, is that the identity, and I speak generally, the identity is strong when you do not or this identity does not deny the identity of another. And I'm afraid that the biggest mistake that your side makes is that you try to deny our history, oh, our yeah, identity, our feelings. You are getting back. To no, no, this is the actual situation. No, I'm, I'm not going back to interpretations of the past. Let's I'm giving you the, 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 the reality of the situation. Let's keep it simple. In the final solution to the name issue under UN auspices, what do you expect? Name of the country, let's say uh, Northern Republic of Macedonia, uh, language and identity. What does Greece want? I'm not a negotiator. You were a spokesman to uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I have never been years. a negotiator. I am not a negotiator now under the you know, government. You know Nimitz, you know Vasilakis. You can answer what does Greece want? I know Do you all want these a people. North Mace Northern Macedonian language? I, I know all these people. I know the, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece. I know Mr. Drutsas. I know you. I know your people. I know many people, but and I am not the negotiator. What will Greece, will Greece insist on a Northern Macedonian identity? Let's try to find a solution based on, on what uh, we have been discussing all, all these years. I think that we can find a solution.
Uh, Mutually accepted. Uh, Dora Bakoyani was uh, th there was a th there was an article in uh, in the Greek uh, paper Ethnos uh, that mm -hmm. uh, Dora Bakoyani had agreed with Milosevsky that uh, that. Uh, th the identity and the language were not a part of these negotiations. Do you know about this discussion? Is this true? That was a, a, a text leaked to the press and uh, as a false spokesperson and as a uh, politician now uh, I have a very strong principle never make comments on things that they are leaked to the press. So you don't, you don't agree, you don't want to answer if Greece agrees with no, the No, it's a question of principle. I never make no. any comment on right. things that are leaked to we the press. We are talking about identity and language. So you know that this is the red line of the Macedonian side, whatever, whoever comes to power. This is not Gruevsky or Trevenkovsky or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is the pride of the people. As you have your pride, we have ours. Mm -hmm. So you deny the right, you deny us the, our right to have a language and an identity. You blocked... Okay, excuse me, but I will say that you blocked uh, Macedonia in NATO under the interim name. And then at the end, you say that if there is a stability or destabilization of the region, it's 100% Macedonia's fault. Who are you kidding? No, what, what I said is that we have to solve the problem so that we have stability and strengthen stability in the region. We need to solve this problem. This is the position. I never blame anybody. This is a, pro a, a problem that has to be solved under, under the UN auspices. This is a very clear position, very frank position. Let's work in this framework to find a way out. Let's find a way out to the mutual benefits. Without a Macedonian language and identity, it is not possible. Uh, there I, will be no agreement. As I told you, the negotiations and the content of the negotiations are based on the UN resolutions. This is the beginning of everything. Go back to this resolution, this will give you the answer. Why, what we feel is something that you cannot just ignore, okay? We feel like... So we can have Macedonian but, language, but, but you don't recognize but, it, but, but the negotiations are negotiations, and the negotiations are based on these UN resolutions. Yes, you, can, you just cannot deny the language and the identity, you know that. I don't believe. I mean, you can personally I, I, deny I it if you want, I, but I don't. I don't. I don't believe. It exists. I don't believe once again 